All right, the One UI 4.0 is not perfect. There are inconsistencies, unnecessary additions, poorly organized layouts, features without improvements, which still bother us. So let's talk about 10 such areas where Samsung must work on so that the One UI can offer a better user experience. After you watch this video, do let me know your opinions about One UI 4.0. Now let's dive right into it. The first one is the accessibility of search, power, settings button on the quick panel. This was moved to the extreme top right corner on the One UI 3.1 and now on 4.0 it remains there. This beats the purpose of One UI which is meant to provide better access to one-handed operations. There is no way one can access these buttons in one hand. On One UI 2.0 or 2.5 these were pretty much accessible as it was placed almost at the middle of the screen. The next one is regarding split screen mode. Now when we open two applications in split screen view and try to resize the windows, both windows get this blur effect, which is kind of annoying to a lot of us. We can't really see the content while resizing these windows, though Samsung has fixed it through its good lock module called multi-star on which we can customize the blur effect, the default settings doesn't allow us to remove the blur. If you don't have good lock on your device or in your region, then you cannot change this effect at all. If you are interested to know how you can remove this blur effect through the good lock module, I have made a separate video on that, I will leave a link in the description. Alright, now the next one is the battery and device care. Let's go to settings, battery and device care. Here you can see we have this software update tab here which is not really needed. This just takes us to the software update section which is available in the main settings menu itself. I mean why would Samsung add this option here under device care? Let me know if you think there is any purpose of having this option here. Let's go to the next one. Let's open gallery. Let's tap on this hamburger menu here and tap on settings. Here we have an all new option called hide content. Let's tap on this. Now this is where we can hide images by dates, people and pets. This is only to hide them from the stories which are automatically created by the AI. In other words, if you select date, people or pet, those images and videos will not appear on the stories section. Now this is good, I'm not saying it's bad, it makes sense, but this is meant for only stories. What if I want images and videos not to show up in the gallery itself? I don't see an option other than moving them to secure folder. Some of us may need an option to hide images and pictures right here inside the gallery. That is something which should have been provided as an option in the gallery settings. Next one is placements of menu buttons on system apps. For example, on gallery, we have a hamburger menu at the bottom right, which can be easily accessed in one hand. Whereas when we open the calendar, we have this menu on the top left corner. There is no consistency across the system applications. I guess Samsung can update the apps individually to provide similar experience across all applications. The next one is again regarding the menu buttons. On gallery, we have hamburger menu, whereas on my files app, we have a kebab menu or three dots menu on the top right. On reminders, we have a hamburger menu on the left. On alarm app, we have kebab menu on the right. I mean, this is so lame. Come on, Samsung, you can do a better job making it more uniform. All right, now let's go to the next one. This is about the color palette. The color palette is a very exciting feature offered on One UI 4.0. However, this feature is not executed well enough. There are many areas where the colors don't get applied. For example, on the settings menu, the color palette is not noticeable at all. And moreover, the colors are not bright enough. They look good, but not great. Something Samsung should consider improving. Next one is the home launcher. We have been expecting some changes to happen on One UI home launcher, but unfortunately, it's still the most backward launcher we have on any Android phones. We don't have icon customization option, can't apply any icons right from the home launcher, can't resize the icons, limited grid options, no vertical scrolling options, etc. are still bothering me. And I'm sure even you would prefer to have an advanced home launcher. Having said all this, Samsung do offer icon customizations through its good lock module. But again, we all know it, not everyone has an access to good lock, right? So we definitely need an advanced One UI home launcher. Next one is the animation, which has not changed much since One UI 2.5. I made a video comparing the animations on One UI 2.5 and 4.0. I will leave a link in the description which you can check out so that you know whether there is any improvements or changes in animations over a period of time. I feel animations could have been much better on One UI 4.0. The last one is Samsung DeX feature, which hasn't changed much. 
There were some enhancements to the existing features such as opening more than five applications simultaneously, a better resolution when we use any connecting cable, but these were provided through GoodLock module. I have made a video on this as well. You can go ahead and check out the link in the description. The wireless connectivity issue still persists, especially when connecting to a non-Samsung TV. On my Sony, I still have issues connecting DeX wirelessly. Sometimes it connects quickly, sometimes it doesn't connect at all, no matter what I do. I have also heard this from many viewers who complained about the connectivity. This could have been improved on One UI 4.0. These are some of the areas Samsung must work on to provide a better user experience. Do share your thoughts. What else do you think Samsung should have done on One UI 4.0 to make it a better user interface? While you share that, be sure to subscribe and leave a like for this video if you find it useful. I create contents on Samsung Galaxy phones, Android applications, One UI, MIUI, Galaxy watches, etc. And we do give away some premium watch faces for Samsung Galaxy watches. If you are into that, make sure to subscribe to the channel and become a part of Apex community. That's all I want to share with you guys. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. I wish you happy holidays and happy new year to this entire Apex community. Cheers. Bye-bye.